Welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live, everyone. Social media companies have acknowledged the public town squares that their platforms have become, but how might a change in ownership change the talk of the town and what responsibility do the companies carry as service providers? Yahoo Finance's Alexis Keenan joins us now with more. Alexis. Very little responsibility, at least at this point, the way the current laws are. So let's talk about that tweet that really ignited this conversation. This is what I'm taking a look at is Elon Musk tweet that said this, given that Twitter serves as the de facto public town square, failing to adhere to, pub to free speech principles fundamentally undermines democracy. What should be done here? So I've been exploring if Twitter could be legally required to adhere to those principles and stop, let's say, moderating speech. Some people would would say stop uh, a censoring speech. A lot of people like to phrase it that way. Um, but the prevailing answer here is no, uh, that only governments, of course, are the ones that are banned from curtailing uh, lawful communication, lawful speech, that is. So as the First Amendment says, that uh, many of you know by heart, uh, Congress shall make no law abridging the freedom of speech. That is extended by the 14th Amendment also to local governments, not just the federal government. So Musk is talking here about about the Supreme Court's holding in what is called the public square. Think about sidewalks, think about parks, think about the public town hall. Uh, that is where speech actually is protected. So the question here is, is Twitter the equivalent of the public square? Uh, and the socially distinct thing about social media is some attorneys say is that it, they're just merely organizing uh, information. They're not the public town square. But still, that can be really unsettling because you have to consider that a private company, for example, couldn't necessarily carve out a place on the sidewalk. I can't go to Times Square as a company or an individual and start limiting what people say. Uh, so that doesn't necessarily sit right with a lot of people that, you know, as broadly as Twitter is used, that they can go in and amend the speech. Now, Elon Musk might have very different uh, plans for the social media company. And as he put it, he said, by free speech in a tweet this week, I simply mean that which matches the law. So still a lot of gray area and things to be sorted out here. And certainly Congress could make changes in this area. And fascinating watching Elon on Twitter shift from Far right is he center and now says, uh, I'm no fan of the far right. The far left hates everyone. He's entertaining. Let's just leave it at that. Alexis Keenan, good to see you. Have a good weekend. Thank you. Rochelle? I mean, I think Elon is really putting everyone in a very interesting position because he's saying, look, I don't support one end or the other of a political spectrum. I want, you know, completely free speech. But as Alexis was saying there, so where does that end? What sort of images or content should be allowed? And if it's going by the law, I mean, are we talking federal law? Are we talking like state by state? It depends. If you're once you're a private company, what does that mean? Because yes, you can shout anything you want technically in a public square, but you're not free of consequences. So it really comes down to who those consequences then fall on, the content creators or the platform itself. You know, the interesting thing too is that everybody who signs up for a platform like Twitter or Facebook or Snapchat, any social media company, you are also signing on to adhere to the terms and conditions of that platform. And so where the platform themselves also, yes, are adhering to federal law, within that you as a user are adhering to platform legal requirements as well to disclose what is permitted and what is not permitted in a platform. The two things you're hearing from analysts in this space is one, that if he does allow these far right extreme voices back onto the platform, it's actually going to be terrible for the business model of the stock. It's going to help Meta. It's going to help Snap. It's going to help all the other guys because the high profile advertisers are going to flee the Twitter space. It'll be interesting what he prioritizes, freedom of speech in his words, or actually paying back a loan that some aren't sure he will be able to. And the theory growing in the last couple of days, as I'm sure you've seen, is will he actually follow through and buy this? The more and more you hear the estimates are, ah, I think he's going to find a way to get himself out of this deal. Must bother him that every day he opens up the App Store, and I know he does because he tweets it out occasionally, the number one app on the App Store is... It's Truth, Truth Social. social. Yeah. It yeah. remains Truth Social. And yesterday, Trump finally announced his presence on there saying, I'm back. 
Kofefe. I don't know if you remember Kofefe, I one do. of his famous typos on Twitter. So it'll be interesting to see how that rivalry develops as you can see the numbers. Truth Social still very, very small and most give it a couple of months at best. Yeah, a rivalry that in football is like watching the community college in Philadelphia go up against Penn <laughs> State. So that's that as of right now. However, there are still some litigations that Truth Social has been working through as well. So we'll see on the legal front if the end product is actually able to still hold on to the light of day as of this point in time too. And even when you talk about money and Twitter, when you even mention how far ahead perhaps uh, Truth Social might be with its back, you have them, Twitter, trying to figure out in terms of monetizing. There were some deleted tweets about, will it be related to perhaps job cuts for executives? Yeah. Will it be perhaps getting rid of the cost of Twitter Blue, the subscription service? So still a lot of speculation. And I feel like Elon Musk is just sort of sitting back and sort of tossing that match and letting everything just like be on fire and just sort of <laughs> stick where it all ends. He, well, he sold eight and a half billion in shares uh, today and he can get out of this deal for a billion. So it'll be interesting mm. to watch. Easy, easy money, easy money from us. <laughs>